Hello and welcome to Let Them Talk. So today we are going to answer a grammar question that I get regularly and that often causes confusion and that is what's the difference between some and any? Are you ready? Let's get straight into it. Okay so both some and any are used to talk about uncountable and plural countable things where we don't know or don't want to specify the precise number. We never use some with singular nouns, instead use a or an. Any is generally used in questions and negatives and some in affirmatives and conditionals and requests. But there are some exceptions to these rules and we'll have a look at those in a moment. So, first of all, let's have a look at any. And as I said, it's usually used in questions and negatives. For example, are there any vacancies at your company? I need a job. No, I'm afraid we don't have any. Are there any books I need to get for this assignment? No, you don't need any. All the information is on the website. Okay. Is there any life on Mars? No, there's no life on Mars. Don't think so anyway. Okay, let's see. So let's have a look at some. We generally use that in affirmative statements. Is there any oxygen on the moon? Is there? Yes, there is some, but not very much. Actually, I'm not sure, so answer in the comments. Have you got any books on how to raise a panda bear? Yes, we have some in the section over there. Oh, really? Okay. And for conditional questions such as those with would you like? Would you like some tea? Hmm. Yes, I would like some. Okay. Would you like some milk in your tea? Uh, no, thank you. I don't take milk. And for requests with can, could and may. Could I have some quiet, please? I'm trying to work. Could we have some answers to our questions? You would normally use some in questions starting with do you mind if, how about, what about, fancy. For example, do you mind if I get some beer from the fridge? You, how about doing some exercise? Fancy listening to some music? Now I said there are some exceptions and in general in questions you use any, but you can use some in questions too. When we are expecting or encouraging a positive answer, a yes answer. So for example, do you want some help with your homework? Have you got some chocolate donuts? Now, have you got any chocolate donuts is a neutral question. But have you got some chocolate donuts means that I know that you do and I'm expecting a yes response. Do you have any chocolate donuts? Answers in the comments. Is there some way I can get an invitation to the party? There you are, I think you have the answer. That's why I'm using some. Now, use any, not some, to mean it doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter which. Here you can use any with a singular countable noun or an uncountable noun. So, for example, which day shall I come? Ah, any day is okay. What book do you recommend? Any book from 
the bottom shelf. Anytime you're in London, we should definitely meet up. We use some when we don't know the exact thing, but it's out there. For example, I want something to eat. There is something delicious out there for me, but I haven't found it yet. I want to eat anything. I'm so hungry, it's not important what it is. I will eat it. And an important point, remember use no and not any before a noun when you want to mean there, there isn't any, none. So for example, no job is too small, which means there isn't any job which is too small. No room was available at the inn. So Jesus had to be born in the stable. Apparently, were you born in a stable? answers in the comments no man is an island that's an expression by the way now all these rules for some and any also apply of course to someone somebody anybody anyone somewhere anywhere something anything so just have a look an example of that would you like something to read for your journey? Has anybody lost a wallet? Have you been anywhere? Have you been anywhere interesting lately? Answers in the comments. Can I have something to drink? Have you got somewhere to sleep tonight? Have you got anything good to say about Brexit? No, I haven't got anything good to say about it. Or I've got nothing good to say about it. Okay, and now we've got a little exercise. So do your best to answer the questions correctly. I've got interesting news to tell you. I've got some interesting news to tell you. It's an affirmative sentence, so you use some. Have you been recently? Have you been anywhere recently? It's a question. So we use anywhere. No, I haven't been recently. No, I haven't been anywhere recently. It's a negative. So we use anywhere. Would you like coffee? Would you like some coffee? It's a would you like question, so you use some. Could I borrow money? Could I borrow some money? It's a request, so you use some.